In a recent blog post at Revit op-ed, Steve Stafford noted how annoying it can be waiting for Revit to upgrade a project saved in a previous version. He asks, to make it easier to find out what version of Revit was used to save a specific file, and to have a way to abort the opening and upgrading when a file from a previous version is selected. This Booster BIM video shows how the Revit API can be used to solve both of these problems. First, we can select a single file and use the API to find out what version of Revit was used to create the file. In this case, I'm running Revit 2013 and can be told that the selected file was saved in Revit 2014. Or, if I select a file from an earlier version of Revit, such as one of these sample files, I can be informed of that previous version, Revit 2014, that was used. I can also run this command on an entire folder and get a report listing all files in that folder and the version of Revit used to create them, whether that version is from a newer release or an older release. Finally, a check has been added when opening a new file to allow the user to abort the process if desired. We will run the Revit open command select one of these 2012 Revit files, and we will now be presented with this confirmation dialog, telling us the file is older and asking if we want to upgrade. If we say no, the upgrade is aborted, or if we answer yes, the upgrade of course will then proceed. This is just one of the many ways the Revit API can be used to help boost your productivity, make Revit less annoying, and your work with it more satisfying and productive.